Hi, this is Jonathan with Nimblehost, and in this short video, I'll give you a quick introduction to our powerful search plugin for RapidWeaver, RapidSearch Pro. When you first add a RapidSearch Pro page to your website, you'll notice that the Design tab is highlighted with the Layout and Display Options section displayed. You'll see here a number of options that will help you customize the search form specifically for your website. You can change colors, change the width of the form itself, add rounded corners to your form if you like, and of course do things like adjust the colors for the search results listing, and then the text that's displayed in the form itself, and when results are listed. We also have an advanced layout section down here, and this is used for when you want to move the search form into another area of your website, for example, the navigation menu. These are all the basic settings right here, and I'll go ahead and preview this page in RapidWare. Rapid Weaver, so you can see what it looks like. Now before you publish your website, you'll need to set up your account and database information here in these two tabs. The Account tab is for the account that you'll be using when you log in to RapidSearch Pro's online console, and you'll want to enter in the username and the password that you want to use. And again, this information is used when you log in to RapidSearch Pro's online console. RapidSearch Pro uses a MySQL database to build your search index. And the nice thing about this is that you don't have to rely on a third-party company to search and keep an index of your website in order for results to be displayed. When setting up the information for your database, you'll need to know the host name, which for most hosting companies is typically localhost, and then of course the username for your database, and then the password for that user, and then the name of the database itself. Once you've entered in all this information in the Account and Database tab, you can go ahead and publish your website. Once you've published it, you can then view the page in your web browser, and it'll look something like this. I've gone ahead and published the website for the purposes of this introduction. At this point, you can go ahead and start searching for terms but you'll notice that no results are listed because the database and the search index hasn't been set up yet. So let's go ahead and do that. You can access the online console by clicking in the browser URL and then adding files forward slash index.php and then forward slash. Be sure you include the forward slash at the end here. You'll notice that RapidSearch Pro displays a login page and you can use the information that you entered into the RapidSearch Pro Account tab to access your search index. Okay, now that we've logged into the online console, you'll notice that RapidSearch Pro is displaying some messages in regards to the sitemap file, that there isn't one, and that the search index hasn't been built yet. You will notice that it is showing some statistics for site searches even though we haven't built the search index yet. So let's go ahead and add our satellite file. I'm going to use the Nimblehost website as an example in this case and type in the few, excuse me, type in the full URL to that XML file, like so. And when that's complete, you'll note that it's listed here. And then we can go ahead and build the search index. When you click on the build search index button, you'll notice that pages are loaded dynamically and that we have a progress indicated here at the bottom to let you know which URL is being processed and which how many pages there are in the sitemap. And of course in the list there is a status indicator here and you'll get notified when the search index is finished. So you'll notice here that we've got a listing of all our pages and we can go ahead and go back to our site now and start some searches. So let's go ahead and take a look at, for example, um, the new charts stack. And we've got some pages listed here, the main Nimblehost page, and of course the charts page is listed down here. We can search for Rapweaver themes, for example, and get a listing of all the pages listed there for all the various Rapweaver themes. One of the things you will notice is that we have one listing here with the page title and then a short description and then the URL, but the other pages do not have this short description. And the reason for that is because RapidSearch Pro, we use the meta description tag 
of your page to display the excerpt here. And if there is no such meta description tag on that page, then it doesn't display anything except the page title and the URL. And of course, we can clear our search results here. We can then go back to the online console and take a look at the search statistics that have been made. And you'll see that they are listed and updated with the new search terms that we used, charts and Rapid Weaver themes. So that wraps up this quick introduction to our Rapid Search Pro plugin for Rapid Weaver. If you have any questions, please let us know. Mm -hmm.